Hi guys, my name is Patrick and this is Patadendron. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be touring Plant Depot in San Juan Capistrano and I am with my fiance Joe. Hi guys. So stay tuned and <laughs> stay tuned and um, check out the plants. Some really pretty flowers walking in. Right when you go in, there's the uh, indoor plant section. Right away, you get some crotons. I really like this style. Um, they're like one of my first uh, house plants that I've gotten, and um, I've learned that they like a lot of light. And they do really well outside even. So I have mine on the patio and she seems to be liking it. Got some hanging ferns. Oh, some more lipstick plants. Um, this is this cotton candy fern. So cute. Probably so hard to keep alive. Ooh. Oh, yeah. The Hoya Australis for $19.99. Ivy, maiden hair ferns. They're really pretty, but also really hard to keep alive. Some more ferns. Um, I do love picking up just like basic um, philodendron cordatum whenever I can, because I don't always see them. <laughs> Oddly enough, like it's like only in certain nurseries. But they're usually pretty hard to find. Um, some Pylea pepper amioides. I I have one of these and I don't know what it's called. No ID. Uh, there it is. Peperomia Nevada. Some Zingonium. Hoya Carii. Ooh, that's nice. Nice little vine. Dracaena. Some different bacchias. called the Justina Combo. It's a little assortment. Does that have a window? Yeah. Calatheas. The rattlesnake calathea. This is my first calathea I've ever had. That one's a good one to start with. Some ruby rubber plants. I think 
This one's the goldfish plant. Um, they're called go goldfish plants because their plumes look like goldfish. Polka dot plant. Neon pothos. Nice, bright. I love um, the chartreuse color, like using that to pop like in a like green wall. It's great. See, look. Look how it just like pops in that sea of green. And we are back to the fur. Now we're going to do the hanging plant. Uh, we got a marble queen, um, some golden pothos, huge jade pothos, got more golden, got that pothos enjoy, some hanging brazils, Sansevieria, aka Drathena, whatever. Not really, um. Ooh, I do like this. I forget what it's called though. Um, you can comment down below. Let me know what this Sansevieria is called. I like the um, I like the variegations. There's one in there too. The name somehow reminds me of like Clint Eastwood for some reason. I don't know why. But let me know what that is. seriously hits because I can't be um, stuck with just um, living it with like a nursery pot. <laughs> but here's a nice overview of the, the indoor houseplant section. 
at Plant Depot. Back in this corner, we have the, uh, the peace lilies. Look at these pots. They're so cute. They don't have um, drainage holes, so they are cash posts. Which one? Joe likes the truck. Oh my god, look at this. This one's so pretty. It's called Sansevieria Gold Dust. I love the coloring. So I'm trying to decide on like which plants I want and I can never pass up a Maranta. I always, always fall in love with the Marantas and I've never seen this green one. It's like one of the most common ones, I'm sure. I've only seen like the lemon lime, the red, which is right there is the red. Um, it has the red, the red back. Um, but I never really see these, and I know people always see these like in grocery stores and stuff, but I haven't, so um, I think I might get them. Stay tuned for um, my haul later. These um, Tradescantias. I think it's a Tradescantia Polita. I have one um, at home. My mom gave me one. And get this um, begonia. It's huge. So this is on the other side of. Um, the indoor plant section, like when you enter, just keep walking straight through. There's actually more. pretty here. This is a great nursery. I highly recommend it if you are ever in the area. Plant. I love the variegation on that. So are you a yellow and green variegation? green on green variegation type of person or a white and green variation what's your preference comment down below I was just out here in this area but like in this little cute little courtyardish area there were some Man Trio stores. I don't know how it's surviving because it's so hot out and it's like out in the sun. And I know these guys like uh, a lot of humidity. So best of luck to you guys. I'm a big Calathea person, and maybe maybe I can handle it. <laughs> I've always been afraid to get one of these because I thought that it would be have to be like in the bathroom or something because I was watching Harley G shout out to Harley G she kept hers in the bathroom so that it wouldn't crisp up like literally in the shower and I don't have light like that in my shower so nor do I have room in my shower I probably get um, 
purple shampoo all over it. But I'll show you the rest of this cute area. Look at this. It's amazing, it's beautiful. Okay, that is it for uh, my tour of Plant Depot in San Juan Capistrano. Um, overall, I do recommend this place. It had some really cute stuff. It had some, some of the more common things that you don't normally see in, um, in Orange County or Southern California. Um, Orange County. <clears throat> that you don't see like in other like nurseries like Armstrong or like the big box stores like Home Depot and um, Walmart. So um, I found some really delightful plants that I'm excited to add to my collection. Um, and I was gonna do a haul, but I just realized all my plants are in the trunk. <laughs> so, as I close this video out, um, I will do my haul, because, I mean, I gotta do it, right? Um, so I have, like, a bunch of little tiny um, four-inch pots of these, but I got a nice uh, six-inch hanging Brazil. I don't know, something about that orange stem just gets me and it, every time I'm like, ugh, oh, I love it. So I had to get this. I saw that orange stem and the big hearts and I couldn't resist. I think it's no surprise that I didn't leave without this guy. The green um, Maranta Lucanura. I've heard it called um, Rabbit Track Maranta too. <laughs> and then I got this huge Pothos, 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 Enjoy. <clears throat> It's gigantic. Funny story about um, the Pothos Enjoy. I like always thought it was a weird kind of like crafty looking like plant. It reminded me of like being stuck in a Joanne's fabrics with my mom like in the 90s. <clears throat> so it never appealed to me but I got like a tiny four inch one and it just grew and I love the way it's kind of like bouquetting over the four inch pot so I was really excited to find this like long huge like six inch one with trailers um, so that is it thank you and I'll catch you in the next video